Tom Basil, and welcome to the most boring unboxings in the world. Also, apparently, the most non straight cuts in an unboxing. Uh, let's see what's in this box. Here we go. Woo! Oh, this is from Osprey Games. This is probably for the library. Let them eat cake. The Lost Expedition. High Society, which is a great game. The Fountain of Youth and other, uh, that's an expansion for Lost Expeditions. And Escape from Colditz. All right, let's see what we got in this box here. Ah, it's the new, from Gray Fox Games, War of the Worlds, the new wave. is a two-player game based on the classic War of the Worlds. This box is fairly heavy, actually. It feels very compact. I don't know what's in it. All right. Ooh. I'm excited about this one. I like games about chocolate factories. That's from Alley Cat Games. All righty. And then Coral Islands. All righty. I'm excited about both. Ooh, that looks really pretty. All right. Let's see what's in this one here. What could it be? Yum Yum Island from Space Cowboys. I haven't heard of this one before. Oh man. Okay, this one actually looks like a <laughs> a crazy game. You gotta drop food in people's mouths. Huh, this one actually reminds me of a different game. You rescue animals by airdropping them food. It feels like that Eagle Griffin game. Huh. Alrighty. Well, that's everything in that box. All right, let's see what's in this one here. We have a small bag, Vivaldi, and Charte from Reiner Knizia. But wow, that's really bad packaging. Like, who would ever buy this game based on how it looks? It's on the shelf, doesn't show you what's in it. It's a two-player game from Reiner Knizia. This one does not look much great either. Are these the same company? Yeah, XV Games. And then some bag of sorts. Wizard Garden. Huh. Alrighty, well, I hope this company is good, but these games certainly aren't inspiring confidence. Alright, let's see what's in this one here. Huh. Walking in Province. Is this like a sequel to Walking in Burano? It's from Emperor S4, so there's that. It's a very, very, very pretty cover. Alrighty, cool. Alright, well, let's see what's in it. this envelope here. Bloomtown. This is a... I don't know anything about this game, actually. But it looks like it's about a town, building your town. Looks cool. Alrighty, now we have this one here. It's the easy one. It's a terrible one. I mean, it's terrible. Uh, Lattice Hawaii. Huh. I think I've ever seen this somewhere. Choose your tiles wisely. This is two tile games in a row here. But it looks cool. Alrighty. Let's take a look and see what's in this box. Ooh, Trouble in Waterdeep. This is the new Dice Master. It's been a while since I've taken a look at some Dice Master stuff. So we have the campaign box here for WizKids and more D&D stuff. And then two team packs here. Uh, the Zentarim and just Adventures in Waterdeep. Cool. Well, it's been a while since I played Dice Masters. Let's get it back. All right, this box is a very big, long one. I really don't know what's in it. Huh. I still don't know what's in it. It says, meet the drop squad. I don't know what the drop squad is. Well, I guess that's why I'm about to meet them. This is a very big box. It's called Drop Squad The Escape. The fast action family strategy game. Huh, well it looks kind of like a Plinko machine. Huh, 
Choose a hero. Cheeks, Brutus, Trixie, Stretch, or Rue. Drop the marbles into the maze of pegs to score a goal. Interesting. Okay, this looks fun, but wow, this is a big giant box. All right, let's see what's in this envelope here. Oh, it's a new board. The Fall of the Dark House, a Wildlands map pack two. Three new maps for the game. Huh? Oh, two of them are for two players. Interesting. Well, that's cool. Yay. All right, let's see what's in this box, even though it says it on the cover, but this one's a pretty heavy game, but I think it's an outdoor style game, like bocce ball or something. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh my word. So this is Kingdom Lawn game. It's meant to be played outside a pile of wood. Alrighty. Well, that's cool, but heavy. This is a fairly light box, even though it's fairly big, too. So the game inside can't weigh too much. Oh, it's New Salem. It includes the Constable edition. This is from Overworld Games. Well, those people are looking at each other with not happiness. Look at that guy's schnoz. Jail, pillory, gallows. Alrighty. Cool. Well, we'll have to see if this one's good. I think Z played the first edition of this. Anyway, folks, that's my boring unboxing. Until next time, I'm Tom Bassel, and you've been watching the most boring unboxings in the world. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.